Good morning. Now, you might be wondering where I am. The thing is that our house got a little bit noisy this morning. So I have escaped out to the garden and into Finn's tent. You'll remember that in Sunday school, we always, always talk about the fact that you can pray anywhere and at any time. And you know, boys and girls, this morning is no different. So let's get ready for our prayer drill. Right arm up, left arm up, right arm across, left arm across, heads bowed and eyes closed. Dear Lord, we want to say to you this morning that we are really thankful and we're thankful for all the good things that we have in life. Lord, we want to ask you to be close to the people who are close to us and who are living in our house at the moment. But Lord, there are lots of people in our lives who we're close to that we can't be with at the moment. It might be aunties and uncles, grannies and granddads, cousins or close family friends. We take a moment now just to be quiet and to give them before you. We name them now. Lord, thank you for all the people who point us in the right direction in life at the moment. Thank you for all the people who keep us safe. Lord, thank you for all the people who are making decisions for our lives at the moment. Thank you, Lord, that Boris Johnson is healing. And Lord, thank you for all the people who have had care of him. Lord, we bring before you now anybody that we know who is sick. And we ask that you would be close to them and near to them, Lord. Lord, thank you for all the doctors, nurses, and everybody in the NHS who is working so hard at the moment. Lord, give them courage and strength. Amen. That was great, boys and girls. Well done. Now, this morning is another busy morning in Sunday school. You'll hear a story of what happened after Easter. There's a craft for you and your family to try later on. Um, there's a memory verse for you to learn, which is our new memory verse. And a big thank you to everyone who is helping with the song this morning. I'm now going to hand over to Julie for our Bible reading. Hope you enjoy it. This morning's reading is taken from John chapter 21 verses 1 to 14. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Galilee. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, also known as Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them, and they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize it was Jesus. He called out to them, friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, it is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken it off and jumped into the water. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish, for they were not far from shore, about a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a fire burning coals, there with fish on it and some bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you've just caught. So Simon Peter climbed back into the boat and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153, but even with so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came, took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. 
This morning, let's do some craft. I have missed doing craft in Sunday school, so this is a simple craft that you can get all your family to join in and help with. First of all, take your own hand and draw around it. Then cut it out. Decorate your hand. You can use felt tips, paint, stickers, anything you like. It's your choice. Next, Draw around the hands of everybody else in your family. You don't have to use plain paper. Here's one in wrapping paper. This one is painted. You can use stickers, patterns, some with kind phrases. And of course, if you have any animals in your house, you can include them too. Here's a little dog and a hen. Does anybody keep hens? You might need to guess the size of the foot. Animals can be tricky to keep still. Now, what are we going to do with all these hands? Well, I have stuck two pieces of paper together. It says our family on the top and let's decorate the edges. You can use felt tips, paint, you can use some stickers again, anything you want. I have cut out some hands as well to represent Jesus. Jesus is holding our family in his hands, each one of us. Let's put our family hands on, one on top of the other, all the family together, to say that we care for each other and we help one another, we're a family. And Jesus is holding each one of us in his hands. He is in control and supporting us. I know that you can make your own hands picture. Be creative. You will have ideas to make it colourful much better than mine. The most important thing is to take a photo of your picture and send it to Kerry and then she can show us all the amazing pictures on the video next week. It will encourage all of our church family to see our helpful hands in Sunday school. I'll leave you with a quick summary of the craft. Bye for now. Peter and some of the disciples went fishing. They fished all night, but still didn't catch any fish. Early next morning, someone from the shore shouted, You have not caught any fish, have you? No, they replied. Cast your net out over the right-hand side of the boat, the man said. As soon as they did, their nets were full of fish. Then Peter knew the man was Jesus. He jumped out of the boat and swam to shore. Jesus asked him, Do you love me? Peter said, You know I do. Jesus said, If you love me, then take good care of my people. Hi everyone, I'm here to talk today about this month's memory verse. The memory verse we're going to try to learn is part of an answer that Jesus gives in the Bible when somebody asks him, which is the greatest commandment? Jesus gives the answer, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. So that's the verse we're going to try and learn this month. You can find it in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. We tried to think of a few different ways that might help you to remember it, and we hope that you enjoy them. The first plan was to spell the memory verse out using Scrabble tiles. This was fun until we realised that we didn't have all the letters that we needed. Maybe we could spell the verse out on a light box, but there were too many words to fit on just one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. The whiteboard was definitely working well. We could each take a turn, rub it out and then it was somebody else's go. We taped the words of the verse onto Duplo bricks. I found it tricky at building the verse backwards but I got there in the end. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. Finally, we just typed it on the computer.
love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. I hope this short video has given you a few ideas of different ways to learn the memory verse. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore It's great to be back with you again this morning and well done on your actions to My Lighthouse. They were brilliant and really put a smile on my face this morning. Well, we're going to finish off our time this morning with another song and it is called Love the Lord Your God. And as you can see, it is taken from the memory verse that Helen was teaching us earlier. So maybe this is another way that will help us learn that verse. So everybody ready? Up you get, ready to join in the actions. Here we go.
Well done, guys. That was brilliant. See you all again next week.